for everybody else. Well, yeah, I, that's me, but so-and-so is doing the same thing. Everybody else is doing it, so what's wrong? So Brother Paul starts, he says, take it up. He, starts, he, gets, he gets the focus off of everybody else. And he starts looking at himself. And he says, but that, you hear me now. And you can turn there. Uh, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 3, verse 10. But thou hast fully known my doctrine. Not my brother's doctrine. Not my fellow apostle's doctrine. Not anybody else. You have known my doctrine. Right. And then he says, my manner of life. You know where I've gone. You know where I've faced. You know my upsettings. You know my downsettings. You know my faults, my failures. Yeah. You know my manner of life. Right. He goes. You know my purpose, my faith, my long suffering, my charity, my patience. And then he goes. You know my persecutions, my afflictions, which came unto me Antioch. He goes. No, hey, by the way, I'm just not going to tell you that I had some afflictions and I've had some persecutions and I've had some mistakes and I've had some failures and I've been in some destruction. But hey, I'm going to tell you where I had some persecutions. I'm going to take you back to a place called Antioch where I had a persecution. I'm going to take you back to a ship that I was sailing on my way to Rome as a prisoner where I had a persecution and a distress. Yeah. And he says in that same verse of ele verse 11, what persecutions I endured. Yeah. He said, I, I've endured, I've endured some persecutions, but out of them all, the Lord delivered me. And that lets me know that Brother Paul, his journey serving God, he had to have some full assurance. Every time when he was there in Antioch, he had to have some assurance. Oh, when up uh, there in the prison, he had to have some assurance. There as just a captive, he had to have some. When all was mocking him, all hell was breaking loose, he had to have some assurance to say, hey, is, I'm going to keep moving forward yes, no matter how yes, sir. extreme right. the cause and the effects are upon my physical body. God, I tell you, I want some. I want a full assurance. God, I tell you, we need to come back tomorrow night with a full assurance. We need to come back Tuesday night with a full assurance. And you know what? I'm just going to wind it up here. I don't feel like going any further. I got plenty more notes. I could preach a lot. I could preach longer. But I'm going to wind up somebody come to music. We need to come back Monday night with a full assurance. We need to come back Tuesday night with a full assurance. We need to come back whatever, how it's Wednesday night and Thursday night, whatever the services are, with a full assurance. We need to come back sit on these pews with a full assurance. We need to come and see the songs of Zion with a full assurance. We got to come with a mind made up that God. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not here just to show my face. Right. Amen. Come on. That's good. Amen. Full Oh, thank you, Lord. You ever see somebody that's. You know, I, I, I work, I'm being transparent. I, I'm not somebody, I don't, I'm not loaded. I'm very, really being transparent. I. I'm not, I'm not so much loaded with extreme self-confidence. For some people at all, they're just extremely loaded with self-confidence. Put them in any situation, and if they were nervous, you wouldn't even tell because they, right. they, they express this confidence. Yeah. They're very sure of themselves. But that's not the case with most people. Right. We, all have, we all have to deal with our confidence yeah. and our assurance. Yeah. We got to deal with who we are. And to, and we got to deal with our past. We got to deal with, you know, uh, uh, being uncomfortable in different situations. And, 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 and that's normal. That's, there's nothing right. wrong with that. And, right. and, but but you, ever, you ever find yourself, you ever catch yourself when you're in a situation, you know, man, I, this is really making me uncomfortable. And you got to, you got to deal with somebody and, and you got to make yourself. When you shake their hand, or you say, hey, you got to make yourself look them straight in the eye. And uh, and some people, they're good at picking up on that. If you don't look them straight in the eye, your eyes are wandering. They, they pick up as, oh, you know what, he's a little bit insecure. And people that are bullies and, and mean and always wanting to get on top and, 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 and 
bring down somebody, they pick up on that. They say, oh, he, he or she is, is, has low self-esteem and low confidence. And, and they, can, they think they, they can they use that to take advantage of that. And, yeah. and that's the way the devil is in the spirit. He watches our mannerisms. Yes, he watches our worship. Right. He, worship he, watch, he watches our manner of life. Yeah. He watches how we raise our hands. He, yes, he does. Yes, sir. He does. He watches us when we go to bed at night. Watches us just on a daily basis and the things that we're drawn to and the things that get our attention. And he starts taking that. He starts throwing it in our face and starts saying, hey, I can use this against them. And, and he starts using your own self against you. And before long, you find yourself, man, find yourself beat down. Yeah. You ever find somebody, maybe you don't, you felt your own self like this, you know, you don't feel very confident. It's hard to spread your shoulders back. It's hard, as I said, to look somebody in the eye and to feel intimidated. Nobody likes to feel that way. Right. And there's no reason why we should feel that way in the Holy Ghost. Right. Amen. But oh God, give us that assurance. God, that assurance that says, I may, I may not feel like, I may not feel much of a, of a, of a soldier right now, but I'm inside of me. I got this Holy Ghost assurance, yes, and I'm going to square my shoulders yes, back, yes, and I'm going to hold my head, hell, hold my head high, and I'm going to put one foot in front of the other, and I'm going to keep coming to the house of God. I'm a soldier. I'm a fighter. I'm winning on the, I'm fighting on the winning side. I'm not in this for anybody else, but for my Tell you tonight, 
that it's it is no reason why we all can't leave tonight with a cup full of Holy Ghost assurance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. I just can't get away from all this. That is, you know, the Bible says it's like fire. Shut up. In my bones. Jeremiah, Elisha, Daniel, Abraham, Isaac, Joseph, all these prophets of old. Uh, 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 Malachi, Melchizedek, all, you just, uh, uh, Isaiah, all, all of them. And then Paul, Peter, Matthew, James, Peter, Mark, Luke, and John, all of them, they, had, they all had a fire about them. It was an assurance about them. I tell you, there's something about this Holy Ghost when it gets a hold of an individual. It's obvious. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm fire. We're all marching around our own walls tonight at this point as we stand on our feet as a children of Israel.